In the recent years, a lot of assets in DBD have been receiving visual, animation, texture, or audio updates to be more realistic, unique, or visually pleasing to the modern hardware of new consoles and PCs. And a few months ago even, DBD was updated to be using the Unreal Engine 5 for further easier and faster updates in the future. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. My name is Andrew Kens, and you can call me AK. So I'm pretty sure you have all heard of this series called The Realm Beyond, which is a series of graphical reworks to most assets found in DVD. This consisted of map reworks at first, but then evolved to include hat updates, character models, survivors running animation, killer's territory changes, and many, many more. The first maps to receive reworks were Springwood and the Yamaoka Estate, and also gens, chest, pallets, and lockers also received new animations and models. But in the upcoming years, realms like Macmillan, Auto Heaven Records, Colwyn Farm, The Game, Larry's Memorial Institute, Ormond, Crowder's Pern Asylum, and as of recent, The Red Forest, have all received graphic rewards, plus some balancing changes such as removing or changing loops, and reducing the size of the maps to be balanced for both sides. Also, most of the OG survivor models was also slightly changed to look better and modern, but a big controversial change that we received as part of this series was also the survivor movement change, which is hated by many people, and I mean many. Before I start off the complaining, I just want to say that everything I'm about to say is my personal opinion, and if you have a different one, that is totally fine. If you want to let me know about your opinion, you can drop it down in the comments. Thank you. First of all, let's talk about the map reworks. At first, they were a breath of fresh air, and undoubtedly they look so much better and are way more balanced than before. While a lot of these maps look nice and all, some of them got ruined in my opinion. I used to love Thompson House, but since their realms got updated, I absolutely hate playing on them. I don't like the fact that Coldwind is so bright, I can barely see auras, and it ruins the feel of DBD, which was originally supposed to be a horror game, even the horror from DBD is almost gone. The Red Forest in general, I absolutely hate now, there's so many random bushes with collision for absolutely no reason, and I hate the heels, they are so weird and stupid to play on, I sometimes can't even get balanced landing value from them, like, what the fuck? There's also one last problem with the map rewards, which is a big problem in life in general. Nostalgia. The Backwater Swamp is the only OG map in DBD that hasn't received a graphical update yet. It's probably getting one in the near future. I miss the original DBD arsenal and it made it feel original and actually kinda creepy. But this is just nostalgia talking. I can't argue that the game looks better now, but it doesn't feel better. Next I'd like to talk about the survivor movement change of models. This was from a lot of people a very hated change. In my opinion now it looks way more realistic, but also feels more clunky and unfeeling for DBD. I miss the old movement not just because of the nostalgia, but because it felt way smoother to move around, to loop, and to 360. The movement right now just feels odd, even though more realistic, again, it doesn't feel like it. The new HUD, even though it looks nice, the older one was, again, way more fitting for DBD, because it looked more aesthetic. Personally, I did prefer the old HUD, because it was kind of more creepy, and I enjoyed that. Definitely, the new HUD indicators now give more info to survivors, but that again feels like it removed from the horror aspect from the game, because now survivors have so much info on what their teammates are doing, or maybe where they are, where in the past you had no idea what your team was doing, no idea where they were, so you were pretty lost, which I think added so much. Lastly, I just want to briefly mention the new killer terrorists are quite nice, I like how every killer almost had their unique hair radius and chase music to fit that specific character, and that's kind of stupid because now you can identify killers just by hearing the terror radius instead of just seeing them, which doesn't change anything really, but just wanted to mention it. My conclusion after all this complaining is that DBD is missing nostalgia because everything has been either graphically updated or completely removed from the game and never seen again. Maps like Ormond, Coldwing and Rainforest in my opinion looked so much better before, and I hate how they look now, it hurts my eyes. There are a lot of things to complain about in DVD, such as perk nerfs and reworks or the removal of skill from DVD, but that's a talk for another video because I really didn't want to make a 20 minute video of me complaining, so you get my complaints broken up in parts, lol. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and hearing me talk shit about DVD 24 7. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and check out my social media like Twitch, TikTok and Discord server in the description. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy it, and I will be seeing you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.